Hi everyone, happy Webtoon Wednesday. Today I'm going to be talking about Sheep Mask. This is a yaoi psychological torture, tragedy, drama. It's um, a yaoi, so there's smut in it. It is complete at 12 chapters. Yo Hayuk has been out of the military for a while, living his life day to day, not even thinking about the time when he was enlisted. Until one night, he gets kidnapped. When he wakes up, he is bound and gagged. A naked man in a sheep's mask comes in and assaults him. After a while, he begins to lose track of the days that he's been held captive. All he knows is that the guy who holds his life in their hands is someone from his past. Someone from the military. This is someone he hurt and betrayed. But no matter how hard he tries, no one comes to mind. He just can't remember. This one wasn't hard to read, but it was hard to read at the same time. Because of the psychological, because of the horror, like the bad guy wearing the mask, like the sheep's head, was creepy. Most of the horror yaoi that I have read, they don't wear crazy masks. They just come out straight with like normal clothes on and you can see their face like right away like killing uh killing stocking warehouse obey me there's multiple yaoi where the person who does the kidnapping just shows their face and they just don't care i think that's what made this one even more creepy is that this dude has a sheep's head on his head he comes in in stained yucky white underwear and has long gnarly hair so you just get this vibe of grossness not only that but his house or his apartment is disgusting so you know this guy is gross he's He's just not, he's not right in the head. And you get to see that and experience it with the main male lead as he's living in this hell hole and going through what he's going through. There is no way, if you start reading this, there's no possible way for you to read one or two chapters and then just stop reading. No, you're gonna probably do what I did and you're just gonna sit there and you're gonna read all 12 chapters back to back just so you know what happens at the end it was very good it was very compelling and you just you just you had to know or at least i did i had to know what happened uh, i did enjoy the ending it was i it was what I would expect from a psychological horror and I think that made me happy maybe I'm not right in the head but if if something's labeled psychological horror I want it to be in that realm so I think how it ended and it stayed within that bubble was a good way to end it because it just I don't want to say it felt right but it made sense for the situation and everything that happened. So I was pleased with the ending, which makes me sound psycho. Yeah, but either way, if, that, if these are some things that you are interested in, I would highly recommend this webtoon. It, it, Personally, I thought it was really good for a psychological horror. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.